Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, well, after two days of installing the latest Patch Tuesday updates, there are a few of you out there that might actually be seeing problems in uh, the Windows Patch Tuesday updates that actually create blue screens. Unfortunately, a small number of users uh, have uh, had blue screens appear since the update that was released this um, Tuesday, March 9th. Um, they have to do in part, a lot of people are seeing uh, blue screens when they try to print. Um, that is on certain uh, printers like Kyocera, for example. So a lot of people are saying, well, this is uh, one of the problems I'm getting blue screen when I try to print. Uh, and some other people are also seeing um, blue screens, apparently, or uh, crashes. It has to do with, uh, of course, KB5000802 cumulative update. Uh, the error message that appears on the blue screen is APC index mismatch. So the only workaround right now is to uninstall the update if you want to do so. Two ways that I'll show you to uninstall it if you are plagued with the blue screen problem. You can go into your settings, go into update and security. Here you'll go into view update history and on the upper left you'll see uninstall updates. Click there and just choose the update that was installed on Tuesday which is KB5802. Once you click there you click the uninstall button at the top and uh, pause updates for uh, for a little while. So you can go into, once again, Windows updates and update and security. Here you can say a pause for seven days or if you go into the advanced options, you can select a date where you want to install updates and that date can go up to, uh, depending on... Uh, your settings, you can actually have uh, dates that will go up to um, 35 days of, uh, of updates. So uh, that is what you'll need to do for now. It seems that it uh, is mostly printer related. From what I see, most of the people that are having the problem with this update seems to be with printers. So um, if you do have a blue screen, uh, if you have a crash, if you don't have any crashes, if you have a, a, had any problems at all, don't, you know, leave it there. It's okay. It's really, it's just a subset of users that have that problem. Uh, you can also, if you want to uninstall it, uh, go to a command line. So um, basically in the command line, you will, of course, um, choose or type the uh, the command, which is WSA space um, so it's WSA space we just uh, slash uninstall uninstall slash well, space slash KB colon 5008 zero two press enter that will manually uninstall it you can do that from the command prompt and uh, that will uninstall it but uh, of course you can just if you don't want to go to that complex thing go to the settings update and security uh, view update history uninstall updates and there you will see that kb5802 is here so if you do have that blue screen problem uh, that's the way to uh, uninstall it temporarily if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.